Smith. 
was his wife. So this man, James Smith, was an extremely abusive man. Uh, his wife divorced him because he abused her. After his marriage ended, he had a 20-year-old girlfriend named Tina Watson, whom he also abused, and she was even pregnant with his child, and he would allegedly kick her between the legs and just abuse her all over her body. Um, and they eventually, Tina managed to escape the relationship. And after that relationship in 1982, James Smith met a 15-year-old girl named Wendy uh, Mottishead. And he was also very, very abusive with Wendy. And he tried to drown her on numerous occasions. Um, so yeah, that is basically all the information you need to know that this man was a sick man. He had so many issues and he was extremely morbidly violent towards women. So it was in 1983 when his relationship with 15 year old Wendy had broken up. He met um, Kelly Ann Bates and he met her whilst she was babysitting with some friends. So this man was not just a uh, kind of domestic abuser, he was also a paedophile um, because she was a child and he was a 40 year old man and he groomed her into a relationship and he was very, very controlling over Kelly Ann and she was so young. She was so young. She just didn't know how to deal with that situation because, you know, the older women um, that Jane Smith had, had been with, you know, did leave him. But Kelly Ann was literally a child. And I just think looking back on the case now, she had no chance. So by November 1995, Kelly Ann had actually moved in with James Smith. Um, much to her parents' disapproval, they tried to fight against it, but they eventually agreed um, as long as Kelly Ann would uh, agree to see them regularly. So that was the setup. Um, and remembering her first visit with James Smith, Margaret Bates, uh, Kelly Ann's mother, said, as soon as I met Smith, the hairs on the back of my neck went up. I tried everything I could to get Kelly away from him. So that just kind of shows you that um, her mother instantly knew there was something wrong with James Smith. So once Kelly Ann had moved in with James, she saw her parents less and less. And when she did see her parents, her parents noticed numerous bruises over her body. Um, but Kelly Ann would always just kind of throw it off to accidents and things. Um, by December of 1994, Kelly Ann had quit her part-time job that she had actually really enjoyed. She was becoming so much more uh, of a withdrawn person. She never really saw her family. She only really spoke to her mum over the phone. She had no friends. She didn't do anything. She wasn't at school anymore. She didn't have a job. Um, she just became a shell of a person completely controlled by James Smith. So by March of 1996, um, Kelly Ann's parents hadn't seen her in months. Uh, it is stated that Kelly Ann's brother tried to go to James Smith's house uh, to ask about Kelly, but James refused to let him into the house and he said that Kelly was out on the 16th of April 1996. Dave arrived at the local police station and stated that he had accidentally killed his girlfriend. He told police that Kelly Ann had accidentally drowned in the bath after an argument and despite trying to resuscitate her, she had died in his flat. So immediately the police went over to Dave Smith's flat and what they found was much worse than an accident. So I'm just going to 
gonna say now if you don't want to hear any um, kind of details of violence just skip ahead a minute or so he's found the dead body of Kelly Ann Bates and the body was almost unrecognizable uh, it had been she had been tortured beyond all recognition really and a pathologist later stated that Kelly Ann had suffered over 150 separate injuries it came to light that um, James Smith had been keeping and torturing Kelly Ann for at least one month before her death um, if not longer to be honest uh, it is stated that he tied Kelly Ann to furniture and the radiators by her hair to stop her from moving uh, and she had suffered severe severe injuries uh, some of the injuries had been she was burned by a hot iron on her thighs and her stomach um, she had been stabbed numerous times all over her body and her face by knives forks and scissors her face mouth and genitalia had been uh, mutilated by a sharp object most likely a razor blade um, and her hands had been crushed by a heavy object so her hands were barely working all of the bones were broken in her fingers um, her arm was fractured I think one of her legs was also fractured um, she had been starved so she was around 20 kilograms lighter than she had been when she left her home and the most horrific thing is that her eyes had been gouged out of her head um, and the pathologist stated that it was most likely that her eyes had been gouged out weeks before her death so this poor girl had been suffering for weeks at the hands of this man and she was literally blind um, so she had no idea what was happening to her it's just absolutely horrific it is one of the worst cases I have ever kind of come across in terms of pure evilness and pure violence is just horrific it's just horrible so, Kelly Ann's torture eventually ended when James Smith drowned her in the bathtub so uh, James was uh, immediately arrested because it was very obvious that this was not an accidental death uh, he was immediately arrested and taken into custody and detectives on the case claimed that the abuse towards Kelly Ann was the worst they had ever seen um, in, in that time in England James Smith later claimed that Kelly Ann had driven him to kill her because uh, she apparently tormented him and disrespected his dead mother uh, and she would often hurt herself to make her injuries look worse which I just completely don't believe so the case was taken to trial where James pleaded not guilty to the murder of Kelly Ann Bates but it took the jury less than one hour to 
it's just such a hard hitting case because you know she was just a little girl like she was at 14 you know you're you're a kid still um and she was taken away from her family essentially by this man who controlled every aspect of her life i know that kellyanne's parents have come under fire for uh, not protecting her uh, and i think that's that's a harsh judgment to make because you know you don't know how hard it is until you're in that situation but like i said i know that my own mother would have been um like disgusted that, that her parents allowed her to live with this 